So, quick response to Alex's comment on the latest video. Uh, if we see it on the screen here, really enjoying the videos. Keep up the great work, didn't pay him for that. Um, talk about his stock today, which we'll get back to in another video. Um, either way, we can look at the lay figures for the exact same strategy above. It looks like laying the home team would be profitable at least 8% of the time, which could mean monster profits if it was found to be scalable. Um, so, why don't we do that? Why don't we have a look? So, if you go over to CGM Bet and for the previous video, I started off using, or I think I finished up using the upsets module just because I quite like the way it works. I mean, it's not what it's meant for, but I just quite like using it. Um, but for this, we're going to look at a bit more detail and to make it scalable, because you can only choose one league at a time here, as I've mentioned before, we're going to go to the upcoming section. You'll see actually that I've just made this filter. So um, I've saved it as one of my filters. Uh, I've saved it as second delay. And it's looking at seasons 19 to 24 to be consistent with what we were looking at before. I realised that I think I was probably trying to use five seasons worth of data when I did it. And I should have done 18, 19 to get five seasons worth. But it doesn't really matter it's, as long as we're consistent. So uh, we're looking at 19 to 24. Uh, we've got NW ticks here for the home team, which is not won. So we're looking at when the home team hasn't won. So in effect, laying the home team. Uh, so let's refresh the data first because we need to get it all running and accurate so we're all done now with the refresh and you can see the 2772 games that we've got data for we said that we only want to see games that the home team didn't win and we also now want to add in some filters so the home filter that we were looking at was 240 to 3 2.4 to 3 and the overs we ended up with nothing as the lower limit so was it 190 or 220 220 and then we want to hit apply and it'll apply the filters to those games and it'll come up that there are 41 games out of 2772 that we have filtered from and that is exactly the same amount as we had if you look at the last video it ties up perfectly which i wasn't sure it was going so i'm delighted uh, it ties up perfectly and if you look at the back test if we calculate this is what we'll be looking for um, the 50% yield that we were looking for before is there and also the percentage win rate 51.22 for away and so using this field if we did lay the home team which is what Alex was asking about uh, it would have been successful 73.17% of the time um, 30 times out of 41 if we delayed it and we can see that it would have had 11.52 um, point yield so nowhere near as high as the 50 for back in the away team so the odds aren't brilliant which is why the yield is much lower because laying a home team which is only a very short favorite um it's not necessarily kind of rocket science that they might not win that game is it the whole point of the the odds being tight are that it's almost a 50 50 game only slightly in favor of the home team which is why we're getting a lot of away wins so you can't have your cake and eat it so if you if you're looking at odds that are only slightly favouring the home team, you're not then going to be presented with really profitable lay odds. So it's still profitable though, and it obviously takes away the risk and it, it gets the draw on side, doesn't it? So with the other strategy, you're only looking at away wins. Um, but I, I mean, I lay betting is one of my favourite strategies because you've got so much on your side. You've got the you've got the home uh, the home win, sorry, the away win and the draw. Uh, so. 73% of the time you're going to be successful. 11.52, the yield, it's a great yield, you know, and there's um there's a lot to be said for minimising risk in trading, and this is what that would do. Uh, you can have a look at, it, it's really good because in the in the green, we can see again that we've got highlighted odds that will be um, profitable. We've got the away ones, which, which we've discussed. Laying the home team, which we've discussed. You could lay the draw. Um, a lot of lay the draw strategy uh, lovers out there. I'm, it's not my favourite, to be honest, but um backing goals and then you can look at the over under so over 0.5 you could make a slight profit on that and again if we go to the higher ones under 3.5 goals 92 percent of the time has been under 3.5 goals 20.77 i mean that's that's worth investigating further again isn't it you keep going down these rabbit holes 